Hey guys, what is going on? This is Ip of Rage Quit TV. Gonna be casting a game between Bly from Team Acer and Happy from Team Empire. It is a TVZ on Tolendrim Altar with Happy spawning clockwise of Bly and not in cross spawn locations, which means Happy does have an advantage because his natural path to attack in the mid game is gonna be straight down here. He's gonna hit this one area, gonna siege up his tanks, and relatively easily will be able to take out Bly's natural. So Bly is gonna have to think about that when he approaches the mid game and decide how to deal with it. Happy is known for that aggression. He is a very aggressive player, but somehow he managed to keep a very high win rate. And I believe that's because his aggression is based upon the map. He really plays the map, knows how to abuse the map and how to abuse his race to always trade cost efficiently because a lot of players, they go for that macro. And uh, Happy, he's just like, well... I'm going to be cost effective and it doesn't matter if I don't have as much stuff as you for you to get to my units. You're going to take heavy, heavy losses. And that is what I love about Happy's play. Watching him play Terran is a little bit different than watching someone else like Thorzane or Kaz play Terran. Both macro Terran players. Happy, definitely one of those hyper-aggressive ones. We do have Bly going out to scout. Ada, looks like 13 Supply does send that one drone out. We'll go for a hatch first because, well, why not? The difficulty, though, for Zerg on Taldor Malta is taking a third base. The third base, they can't really take all that quickly, which becomes more of an issue in ZVP. But also in ZVT can become an issue, especially on these spawn locations, because to deal the, the best way to deal with the Terran players just killing your natural is to transfer your drones to your third base. But of course, if you can't take that third, well, that sucks. We do have Bly going in, will scout the gas, and immediately leave. Should hide his drone and go for a little bit of a delayed scout to see if Happy ends up going Reapers, because that is another strategy that Happy could be using on this map. It is a r relatively, or used to be a relatively common opener, I think popularized by Goody, is building a bunker back here. Maybe it was the Muslim, the Devil Terran. It was one of those guys. Build a bunker back here, have a Reaper on the low ground to defend the SCV building the bunker, and then just hop up, go up, and a bunker with a Reaper in it is pretty much an insta-kill for a hatch. You can't really use spine colors to defend it because of D8 charges. And Bly, I don't really know what he is known for. I don't really know him all that well at all. I do know he is a very talented Zerg player. I have seen him take out Polt and Damaga and other high-level players. But he is a European Zerg, and his competition is very good. I mean... The other European Zergs that Bly has to deal with, and this is just one Rax pressure with a Hellion coming. And of course, um, Bly did see the one Rax, so, uh, the gas. He saw that one gas, so he knows it's not a two Rax. Only has four drones, he is losing some mining time, that's 40 minerals per minute. And Happy, now seeing the second Marine, this is going to be telling Bly... There is no tech lab, because he didn't go in for delayed scout, but seeing two Marines right there says, okay... Hellions will be coming. So, Bly will know that. And as I was saying, I don't really know all that much about Bly. The European Zerg competition is very high with Stefano, Damaga, Rhett, Nurgio, Anna. I think Dark Force is also pretty high up there. There's just a lot of good European Zerg, so it's hard to get your name out there. And also, Bly was on Team Virus, which is uh, known for not being that... Uh, the most trustworthy StarCraft 2 team, as Nama said, his biggest mistake he's ever made was leaving Mal Sports for Virus because they didn't even pay him to go to an event. And Nama, I think, had to recoup that out of his own pocket. So maybe Bly didn't get sent to events when he was on Virus, and that's why we don't know about him. Those two Hellions are going to be chasing this Ling out. And we do have a second factory being built with another bit, oh, well, with the same barracks, building another reactor. So we're going to have. A Hellion run by most likely once Happy gets between 6 and 8 Hellions, I would assume. Wouldn't really want to run by with just one Hellion. You want to wait till at least 6 to do a run by. That way you can lose 2 Hellions and still be able to 1 volley drones. Well, 1 volley drone lines, I should say. Bly does get his 3rd Queen. Uh, is he getting his 3rd Queen out? Yeah, he is working on his 3rd Queen. Only has 2 right now. Going to be using a Tumor relatively early to get those bases touching. And we do have him working on his SimCity now. The Evo Chamber goes up, the Roach one goes up, and two more Hellions are on the way. Bly hasn't really scouted anything out of this, and with these six Hellions, Happy is showing them, so he is going to be going to run in. As this one Queen did walk away, allowing these Hellions to get in, 
Not a single Hellion goes down. Those four lings, they don't even know what hit them. One Hellion falls, but he does go up to five drone kills right now. Going up to six, I believe that is. And now going to kill a few more lings, being in a very good position. And now loses one, two Hellions, but he is still at three Hellions, which means he can still one volley drone lines. Three is the magic number, killing even more workers right now. And all the Hellions will be falling. Going into that worker kills, it is eight right now. But keep in mind, that was double reacted Hellions. So he already has a lot more waiting. Back up to six Hellions. When will he run by? Those Lings are going to come on the Watchtower. See those Hellions back up in that number very quickly. So Bly probably knows, okay, that is two factories worth of Hellions. There's no way you just have a single factory out. Queen's going to try to block off with those Hellions. Find a small opening and get back into this middle line. And, uh... Happy uh, Bly's already pulled his drones away from that middle line, knowing he is about to take some serious losses. And those Hellions going to be going in, trying to find where the drones went. Going to go straight down to this main middle line and get two drone kills instantly. Now going up to five and a few pull back between that spawning pool and hatch. And all five of those go down as well. We are up to 17 workers killed with these Hellions. And in the meantime, we do have Happy now taking his expand. And Bly is producing relatively just drones right now. Does have a Roach one up. And uh, what is Happy going for? It looks like he's going to be answering again with Hellion Marauder. That is going to be his next attack. And oh my god, nine more Hellions show up. Actually, ten Hellions show up now. And does he have enough to defend this? Three Roaches? No, he doesn't. Ten Hellions could easily kill three roaches. These three roaches, though, just going to be protecting the creep so he can get that spread out. Hellions do come want to take that, but it does go uh, invis just in time. But five Hellions going to be coming in, abusing that those roaches are out in front, doing a distraction. But he does see two queens here just won this off, so those Hellions cannot do any type of run by. Doesn't want to lose those Hellions because he wants to use them with his marauders and do some vicious timing attack. We also have him getting a star point, so he's going to include medevacs in with this aggression. And we'll have stim completed with those medevacs. This is going to be a extremely aggressive poke by Happy. And somehow Bly isn't really that far ahead. He is ahead in workers by somehow not really producing any use, just droning up this entire time. Assuming that Happy isn't going to be that aggressive. Did this overlord see anything? No, it hasn't. Bly is just saying, okay, well, I can either produce units and get uh, blind countered by you, because you know if I want to kill all these Hellions, my only op option is Roaches. So right now, Bly is going to say, I'm just going to do nothing but drone for the longest time, pull ahead in that economy, and then try to just cross crush your force. He is now up to 41 drones to the 29 SEVs. Hasn't started his lair yet, and generally the lair does finish around 7.30 and 8 minutes. We do have a macro hatch going up. And this is a really late lair. This is the corner that Bly is cutting. He has just been droning up nonstop. Now finally going to be getting more gas. He has been off one gas for the longest time. Does get the drones up that he needs to be able to build the roaches to compete against Happy. But if Happy moves out like right now, I think he may be able to just win the game. Bly is taking out those rocks right now. Trying to get the creep over on this one side. The Hellions go nuh -uh. At the same time, all this creep has been taken out. Happy still with these nine Hellions, going to pull those roaches out of position, not going to try to run in because he'd have to run all the way on that creep, not the smartest move. Overlord right here just checking the third base timing. Mean, he could go in at any time, sacrifice his life, and see what Happy has. And Happy, not really going for a Marauder Hellion all in, despite starting to build this. Maybe he saw something that uh, he didn't like. I don't know why he just abandoned ship on that idea and is going for Marines in these medevacs right now. Does have a... Uh, one tech lab, two reactor barracks. So yeah, not going to be going in for Marauders. Getting combat shields right now. And uh, these factories just sitting idle. So Happy built those factories just for the Hellions. Then idles them for a while. And eventually he will put tech labs on them and get tanks out. Unless Happy is going to be going Hellion bio, which would be... Uh, it would be rare to see him do that. I'm... Uh, Especially on Tolerant Malta when he can abuse this one area with tanks, but maybe he just feels he is so far ahead. He can just stim push his way in here. Bly, though, choosing not to engage right now. Just going to be poking with his roaches. Doesn't want to lose anything. This macro hatch may be going down. That stim being very useful, especially with his medevacs. This macro hatch will be falling, and Bly looks like he is going to be going in now with those broodlings. 
going to be using them to soak up a little bit of damage. Does he have enough roaches to hold this off? Those medivacs are doing a lot of healing. The roaches are pulling on back. More do pop right here at this one hatch. And uh, Bly, six, seven. Okay. Oh, that, that's a shame. I saw all these hotkeys on these hatches. Like, okay, one of these has to be this natural lair. So when he has aggression coming, he can hit six to zero. Have the love, and it looks like we do have happy pulling up to a drop, but Bly did see it, most likely due to the creep, and is pulling in defense to this. But as I was saying, I was almost had like a nerd guys in there seeing these hockey, so I'd be like, oh, he can just hit seven, and then he's on his natural to build units, because this is the way he wants his roaches to pop out. As you did see, when he was pulling back, all the roaches popped out of this one hatch. I think that may have been luck, but if he had that one hatch individually hockeyed, then he could have prioritized that for Roaches, so he would have had instant reinforcements, which would have been pretty darn cool. We do have Happy backing on off. He does have Tech Labs on these factories. Not getting a Siege Mode just yet, but with Tech Labs on both of them, there we go. Siege Mode has started. And looks like Happy is going to be doing a drop right now. There is... No detection. He does have control of that one watchtower and will be dropping. This Banley's Nest is going to be vulnerable. And oh no, Bly is moving on out right now. Happy is going to be going back into the drone line. I think he should just try to take out this Banley's Nest. Kill off that Banley speed. That would be a really good. Only killing one drone. But he is going for this nest. Does lift up at the same time. Is doing another drop over at this third base. Bly trying to take this third base. But Happy goes, nah, uh And that third base does not get cancelled goes fully down without losing a single unit. Now we have another drop. Transfuse does go down. Save that one Queen's Life. The Banelings Nest does complete Baneling speed, but it looks like it will be falling, which means no more Banelings morphing. Happy, I mean Bly immediately morphing in eight Banelings just before it goes down as Happy does a drop into that main base. Banelings do hit that. A drop coming back down here over into the natural. And, uh, does pick up, has units down here in case that one hatch try to get started yet again. Has killed uh, not really any work because it was 17 before all these drops. Did pick off the Baneless Nest, did uh, that's pretty much about it. I guess he forced a few Baneless to explode. But the key thing is, what uh, the main thing Happy wanted to do, he is gearing up to move out with tanks. And if he takes out this third base, which I think is his main plan to ensure this third base goes down, that's why there are two medevacs there, while only one was back here. Because if this third base goes down and now he moves out with tanks, Siege is up, there's nowhere for these drones to transfer to. So if he takes out this hatch, then Bly, he loses all of these drones temporarily. If this third base is up, they can transfer there and begin mining so he doesn't really lose those drones. We do have Bly going to be coming in, taking out a handful of SCVs right now. Was that one killing those failings? Oh man, do go off on that. But that does give Happy the... Uh, Time he needs to set up Siege Mode in this one position. And this is going to be a tough situation right now for Bly to deal with. He does have plenty of units, lots of roaches, lots of bailing still. And those tanks have a lot of... Uh, no, they don't have any acute commands. That is the bio that did. And uh, not too much bio down here. Not too much bio up here. Bl uh, Happy actually doesn't have that much. Bly is ahead in supply somehow. But that may be because of the 16 roaches being very supply heavy. Splitting up his units before he goes in, gets in the middle, stops, and his Banley's just split, hitting all of that bio, and Bly just demolishes this, but we do have Happy taking that one hatch out, and this hatch finishes just in the nick of time, allowing these drones to mine. If this hatch didn't finish because uh, Happy took it out earlier, then all these drones would be idle. That would be a lot of money just sitting there doing nothing. We do have Happy going for a drop at the same time. Fly going in for an attack, but there are four tanks back here lifting up their supply depots and those roaches falling very quickly. And this third base actually looks like it went down. Yeah, that third base is no longer in existence. 22 SEVs killed. Wow, Bly definitely coming back in this game is ahead by 20 supply right now. Happy though, moving on out, he is at 1-1, one, one, while Bly is at 0-1, and Bly getting some mutas now. His main is getting close to being depleted. He needs to get this natural back up, because you can see a lot of drones long distance mining. These, like, there's just a lot of no income right now for Bly. You can see he has a lot more workers by about 20. Going over into this income, we do have Happy 
without any mules or with one mule on the map being relatively close to the income and actually ahead in that gas and I don't know if Happy needs to be ahead in gas because he is stacking gas and needs minerals out. That is the thing he needs. It's a shame he lost those 20 SCVs. We do have another drop going off into this and that does not get cancelled and that base falls. Oh very nice job Happy making those drones work. That is 52 drones, two just two, well I want to say one and a half bases because four of those minerals are completely depleted this very close. So that's going to be like 50 workers to just one base and that is not going to be good for Bly one bit. He is taking another base way over here but the Hellion does immediately scout that. Does have Marine on this watch out. That may be how he saw the drone there. Maybe the Hellion was just hanging out in that one location. Bly going to be getting gases like at the perfect time. You can see the hatch has about... 35 seconds. Those gases take 30 seconds to build. So those gases are going to finish right when that hatch finishes. Could not have really timed that better. And that's not something I see many players doing. They generally wait for the base to be done and they're like, oh wait, I need gas. Let's take it. No, Happy. I mean, Bly. I don't know why I keep mixing them up. But Bly, he takes those as it builds and we can see the gas just finishing as this hatch finishes with the drone transfer. Bly doing that very well. And the Muta is going to be coming into this main. Killing off a few more workers, not all that many. Tanks going to be seating up back again in this one area. And uh, Bly is going to have a tough time to deal with this. Happy has pulled ahead in supply because his macro has just been a little bit better with um, having the three bases to mine from. And denying this base constantly is doing a lot of damage to Bly right now. But he does have the base down here, so this base going down doesn't really do all that much damage. But throughout this game, that has just been like the uh, straw that broke the camel's back if Happy ends up winning this game. But Bly still in this. He's demolished this push once. Will he be able to do it again? Those tanks are at 1-0 upgrades. Meters going to be coming back, but there are Marines guarding that. No meters go down, but a lot go injured. Oh my god, that's like two meters that go down to 1 HP. Marines still doing damage up here. And those lanes going to pull back. The tank is in range, so uh, killing a few units right there. Mutas don't want to engage because, again, look at their health. They are all in that red. Those Marines can just tap them, and they'll go down. Now Happy is taunting those links to come so those tanks can take that out. And I'm surprised he's not dropping that uh, fourth base location yet. Overlords are going down. And it looks like Bly trying to decide. He wants to go into that siege tank line, but he just can't. And Happy doing so much damage with this small group of Marines with these tanks spread out so well. Marines at 2-2 two, two upgrades now, working on 3-3. Three, three. Bly, he is working on 1-2 right now, so he's going to be so far behind in those upgrades. He is getting a greater fire out right now, and uh, is banking up some gas, so if he can hold on long enough for Brutalus to come out, he does have a chance. It is a very slim chance, but he has a chance nonetheless. Scan going down right here so we can see if any units are coming. A um, drop is finally going to be going on that 1-4th base. Medivac was low on HP, and like 6 Marines do die prematurely but they do kill two of those mutas that is the power of these upgrades that roach one is close to going down failings do take out all those rings saving the roach one but this is a lot of tanks and happy has a beautiful split just holding on to this one area right now i really think i guess bly is going to go into infestors and may this may be enough to deal with it i think he should be doing running around the map with lings oh no that is a pf Happy, you are one mean son of a gun. The only counterattack option for Bly is that PF, and you can't do Ling run buys against a PF, so Happy, again, just abusing the map so much. Tank's gonna go in siege mode, just spreading yet again so well, keeping a beautiful tank spread. Big Fung Good does go down there, killing some bio. Keep in mind, there are no more meters out. All the meters have been dealt with. So if he kills all the Marines, it's not like he can just swoop in and kill these tanks. There's not much anti-air left. If he switches back into meters, he may be able to do a lot of damage to this, actually. That one tank goes down due to the friendly fire and those infestors. Another tank does go down. Bly doing an excellent job picking off the tanks slowly. But uh, if the meters were still, they may be able to take out a few tanks because how much they're spread, those Marines just cannot cover all of that distance. Few lings do fall right there. Rhodes is here with this one queen. Those Marines going to be pulling back. Look at that splitting from Happy. He is at 2-2 again. Those Roaches at 0-2. Tanks going to be coming in. And now this fourth base is going to be falling. 
Lean's trying to do what they can. Infestor's just going to boo and move on. Has to defend this base, but I don't know if he has what it takes to defend that base. 3-3 three, three, now completing in five seconds. And once that completes, that will be a really scary time. Booing these drones, because if Happy does leave this location and get transferred over to this base, that Greater Spider, I believe, is done. Yes, it is, and he does have six, seven Broodlords, and without the anti-air, as I did say, Bly is still in this game, holding on for dear life. Now this drone's gonna unboot, gonna go to this one base location, and be a Happy mining. And uh, Happy still just on, no, he is taking his fourth base, but there is a Burrow Ling right now. Supply is relatively tied. I cannot believe Bly is still in this game. Happy has just been so abusive, but Bly refuses to throw in the towels, and now the Broodlords do go marching across the map. Two Vikings are being produced, and the thing I am worried about, these are just Broodlords. And he doesn't have that many Infestors, so he's going to have to choose, do I Fungal Growth Marines, or do I Fungal Growth Vikings? He cannot Fungal Growth both of them, and without Anti-Air, the uh, Broodlords are going to be unprotected. Doesn't have enough Infestors to sustain these Broodlords, and I I think they are all going to be falling right here. Kills off all of the Marines, but again, doesn't have enough energy to fungo the Marines and the Vikings. And this one Viking going to be killing off the Broods. One left. You can see Bly Supply just plummeting, overextending a little bit. Needed more uh, Infestors before he moved out because, again, just did not have the number of Fungals to deal with both Bio and Vikings. Happy at 121 supply, Bly is at 84, getting more corruptors out, getting more infestors. 54 drones, 246 SCVs, workers killed 32 to 22. This PF hasn't killed any links, so we haven't had any attempt of run buys yet. Medivac is gearing up to do a drop. He doesn't know about the base down here, but maybe he's going to be patrolling around the area. Or maybe he saw the drone transfer as drones are moving in, and the drop is going straight for that location, so yes. He did end up seeing a drone transfer, I assume, or maybe just checking these bases. He is going on patrol, so yeah, maybe just checking the bases. And once this base goes down, that is going to be a lot of the company. Thankfully, Bly has got his natural backup and mining. Broodlord is going to be going across, and only two again. No cover on these broods. Does have five infestors. I think the magic number is between eight and nine to be able to deal with the constant macro of Terran and phone growthing everything. And we can see there's Infestor energy going really low, really fast. Also, if you only have four or five Infestors, you're in danger of being EMP'd and just stomped. But Bly, he didn't have the Econ. There goes the good game. Very well played by Bly despite losing the game and very impressive play by Happy. Again, showing you how to abuse maps. I love seeing that play. It has the medevac with those tanks. Did take out that base. Pretty cool. But again, I thought that game was freaking amazing. Big props to both of those players for putting on a show for us. And I don't know if I liked that Muta call. I've seen a lot of Zerg players defend this natural with more success with Infestors. Believe it or not. Because if the Marines are up here. Whoops. If the Marines are back up in this one area, that means down here is a little bit weak. But Marines are very good at dealing with Mutas, so you can't really use your Mutas to engage. What I've seen a lot of players do successfully, like Destiny, burr those Infestors, shoot off those Infested Terrans, then get up close and personal to those tanks, and kill everything. That's what he did one time without Infestors, but the tank count wasn't high. So he could just do that. Let's see, it's right here. Because you can see, once he breaks the tank line and gets up close to this, it becomes a lot less scary. So, this, believe it or not, is a relatively big portion of the army. So what is Bly going to do? There's not that many tanks. Only four tanks, so ready? We're going to watch him just disseminate this. Scan goes down. Splits his units up a little bit. Going to be running in. And then stops, and you can see that just everything spreads out gets in range of those tanks and just tears that apart. But then again, come the late game, Bly was behind in upgrades, so maybe that wouldn't have worked. But if you had infested Terrans to soak up the damage as you run in, that may 
have still been an option because Banelings do very well against Marines. And you know his focus is going to be on this one small area. So we will actually be hopping into SC2 gears. I did reinstall that, so uh, give me one second, add screen region, boom. There we go. So we got SC2 gears, APM. We have uh, Happy, 72 Macro, 199 Micro, 28 Redundancy, 193 EAPM, Bly, 161 EAPM, 62 Macro, 179 Micro. And uh, let's see, does this work on beginning? No, it doesn't look like I can. So let's go into injects. Let's see what his injects look like. Given they're probably horrible because he dealt with all that Hellion aggression, if they're, let's say if they're above 15 seconds, if they're around 15, I'd be happy. But as I said that, I saw it's going to be around 38.2 seconds of horrible injects, but again, Bly was under a lot of pressure, double reactor Hellions for the longest time, and then all that bio came, so you cannot blame him. You can see, like, uh, the risk Bly took this whole period, got these initial units up, and this is 634 in the game. This is after that Hellion run by. This is showing after things complete, so this is after all those Hellions. Just at the end of all the Hellion waves, I believe, is right here. He spends the next two minutes doing nothing but drones. Then gets uh, 12 roaches, goes back to droning for a bit, and you can just see how hard Bly droned after that. Getting that work account back up, and that was definitely the right call. Let's go to the resource spending rate. No, not that. Uh, resources which was resources mined? I guess resources spent. Let's put this all on one chart. And we can see Bly still spending more than Happy. I actually expected Happy to spend more than Bly because taking out that natural so much, disturbing that drone econ line. But uh, we do see Bly mining around 7,500 more minerals and uh, 7K gas, so 7,500 more gas. So 7,500, 7,500 more. Going into the Lost, we have to go back into the game for the Lost. And we can see Happy losing, well that's 19 minutes, 32 minutes. Happy losing around 12k less, like 12.6k less, so those numbers kind of make sense for how much uh, more was spent. And let's go back to this one, hotkey. Let's go to, uh, there's really not much to go to. So, uh, yeah, hope you guys enjoyed the game. Please, please, please subscribe to me. It would help so, so much. And uh, all you people that subscribe, thank you. Thank you in advance. And, uh, yeah, take care. I will see you tomorrow. If you enjoy the games, leave a comment. Read every comment. So, uh, yeah, peace out. Take care. Thanks for watching.